Hey guys, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to just take a couple of minutes today to go through this quickly, the uh, Pocket Go S30, and show you just a little bit about um, some of the new systems we've put on here recently and some of the progress that's been made towards RetroArch and the build as a whole. Also, we are working on trying to get a different front end besides GX menu in here, but this one looks okay, it's just that there are better options, so we'd like to implement one if possible here. We've also found a way to connect via PC to this device via ADB and be able to push and pull files from the internal so now we have access to do deeper changes. I just wanted to go through the list of stuff here quickly and show you guys what's in here. You get a good idea now the scope of how large this has become. So we're going to go over some N64 stuff real quick here. <clears throat> There's two different cores. There's Muppin 64 Plus, I don't want that core, and Parallel. Now, performance, it depends on the game, in all honesty. It sort of goes back and forth. Now, my issue with Parallel right now, and I think that it can be resolved by recompiling it to use Rice instead of Glide, which I'll be trying in the next day or two, but my issue is, well, I'm just going to show you what it is. It's easier if I just show you the issue. And so we fixed the volume button here now, so you can... So, like, there's going to be occasional lag in here. Some games are just going to be really laggy. But see, here's Parallel. See how there's lines through the screen? On the sidewalk. You can't read any of the graphics. The, uh... It does work, yes. But uh, we need to fix the graphics plugin. As you can see here. But it does work. Just needs some work done to it. So I'm going to load the same game using Muppin, or Moopin, however you want to pronounce it, instead of Parallel, <clears throat> just to show the difference between the two. But sometimes Parallel runs a game better than Muppin does, so that's give and take. That's why we need to fix the Parallel course so that you can choose which one works better for you. So you can hear there's more lag here in this game. But you'll see as it loads here, everything's okay. <clears throat> So, there's a little bit more lag in this particular title using Muppin, but the graphics aren't um, buggy or glitchy. But it's a bit laggier, so I believe this particular Muppin core, Muppin, however you want to pronounce it, also happens to be using the Glide plugin. Which really isn't good for us on this device. We want rice. Glide just uses more resources that we don't really have available to us. So we need to work around that.
trying to think of what another good game to use as an example would be. See those lines through everything? Broken graphics again. I've noticed with Muppin it lags in the menu a lot. I don't know why, but it does. There are some games that work okay, like this one. <clears throat> this is using Muppin right here. Parallel works for this game as well. But normally, inside of Parallel, we have other options, like to select plugins, which we don't have here.
Also for some of the stuff like Game Boy, there are now bezel packs. So if you were to launch, say, Donkey Kong here. This is from uh, Onion here. He put this one in here. But you all have other options as well. See, there's the custom bezel packs on the side here. And then we got Super Game Boy here <coughs> as well. And Super Game Boy takes a Game Boy game, does this to it. This retro arch has introduced a bunch of options here, so you can literally just go into the options menu for this by pressing the power button here. Then you can control the color palette. You usually have to restart and save the override for it to take effect, but yeah. So, N64 needs work, but it's definitely coming along. It's got a lot further recently. Uh, that's about it for this particular video. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.